I am going to do a video tour all around all three bases. So if you are moving here, you could see what's around and what each base offers. I'll show the pros and cons of each one. One thing that you will not see in the video is how far away they are from each other. So if you can picture a triangle like Blydorn, Erlas, Cotterbach, they're about a 10 minute drive away from each other. So depending on what base you wanna to go to, it's about a 10 minute drive. So that will also help you determine like which one might be best for you. For instance, if you only have one car, you might want Cotterbach because everything is on Cotterbach. If you want a bigger house, you might wanna to go to Blydorn. If you're higher in listing, you'll probably go to or last. So a few things about Germany. It's very green, it's beautiful. It's so easy to travel um, within a few hours. You could be in a completely different country and that's what makes Germany so fun is being able to travel. Now being in a pandemic, we can't travel as much. So hopefully that opens back up because when you can't travel, it's not that fun um, because it's kind of inconvenient. Obviously there's a language barrier, but a lot of people speak English, so that's helpful. But nothing's open on Sunday. Things close early. You do have to pay for parking a lot of the time or to get a shopping cart. Um, most places only take uh, Euro instead of card. So, I mean, there's a few things there. But uh, trying to call to the States, internet, whatever. Anyway, take this opportunity to travel is what I'm gonna say. Um, also, the the things in the apartments what are kind of like questionable and uh, but if you travel you don't see it as much so anyway um again like we're in a pandemic so i went and signed up for volleyball there's yoga there's crossfit there's the gym you can meet up with friends there's a park um there's a dog park also on Cotterbuck. so i mean there's still things you could do around here um but try to get out and, and do things if you guys have any questions, post in the comments. I will answer or someone in this group. They're always super helpful and they'll they'll uh, answer your question as well. So here's the video tour. I'm on our last now. We have the PX, commissary, gas station. Um, right here is the hospital. And when you first come in, you might be staying at the uh, hotel right over there. Um, and then houses are behind there. This is Erlas housing, and this is for higher enlisted um, is duplexes. So you got two levels and they um, have backyards. They're the only ones that will have a backyard. These are the stairwell apartments on Blydorn. Uh, they are much bigger, but they do not have a patio or a backyard. Um, the playgrounds aren't that great. Uh, there is a library, and they do have a bus to take your kids to uh, the school on Clutterbach. Um, But there's not much to do around here. There's like a, I don't know, a tennis court or something over there. But again, um, if you want bigger housing, this I think is a little bit bigger. Um, especially if you have larger families, you'll probably be uh, put over here. This is the library on Blydorn. It's open Tuesday through Friday, 10.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And it's closed Sunday and Monday. Right across the way from Blydorn is Rofu, which for all your kid toys and baby stuff, you'll go there. And then Rev is food. So if you need, you know, if some groceries, you can go there. And you can just walk there from Blydorn. It's like right across the street. So for shopping carts, you need to have some money on you. It's a euro to unlock the cart. So you you put that in there, and it releases it. You can use it, and then when you're you're done with it, you're obviously going to just put this through, and then it clicks the money back out, so you can get your money back. I'm currently on Barton Barracks. I don't know everything that's here, but I know the main thing is 
comes vehicle registration. So when you bring your car over here, this is where you're gonna need to go. Um, other than that, I don't come to this base, so I don't know what else there is. Right outside Cotterbach, uh, the front gate, there's this crop area, and usually there's like different things depending on the season where you can uh, go strawberry picking or they'll have pumpkins or flowers or something like that and you could pick them and then there's usually like a red box that you put your money in um, so there's definitely an honor system here when you come to you know pick pumpkins or flowers or or strawberries or whatever it may be you have community bank here, you have your ATM where you can withdraw some money. Uh, this is the shop at, so um, you buy your alcohol here, obviously snacks, drinks, um, also pizza is in there. And then uh, we have another uh, service credit union bank here as well. So this is the post office. There's also American Red Cross here, legal services. Um, so you can only pick up mail Monday through Friday. Um, these are the hours. That's what the CMR is. And then as far as post office, like mailing stuff out, that's only open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from certain hours. So over here is where you would, um, if you want to mail off things, there's the mail office. To open up your mailbox, you're gonna go left, right, left. So for instance, your first number, you're gonna go to it. Then your second number, you're gonna pass it and then meet it the second time and then go to your last number. And when you get to your last number, like for instance, let's say it's 35, you'll go to 35, but then you're gonna slightly turn it this way and pull at the same time and then it will open up the box. You'll get your passports and stuff over here, I believe, at least for, it was for me. And then over here is the ACS building. So if you need to um, get, you know, loaner dishes and pots and pans, things like that, you could get that over there. So right here is the bowling alley. And then um, there's a fitness center right over there. There's classes that are held in there, like yoga, uh, CrossFit, functional fitness. Um, I know just different classes, uh, volleyball, softball. So um, go in there and check and see what classes there are because you can sign up for those. Inside the gym, we also hold bazaars and events and stuff like that. So there might be um, some big event happening here. Another positive thing about Clutterbach is that the husbands, most of them will work here at the airfield. So it's only about five minutes away from home. So if they wanted to come by during lunch or something, uh, they don't have to drive as far. There's a baseball field over by the school. This is Rocket Park. This is the biggest park there is on Cotterbach. But um, within uh, each of the housing areas, there's uh, usually like a smaller park there. Um, and the middle high school is actually right there, right across the street from the park. So, I have a little kid area over here for toddlers and stuff. So here's another view. This is Rocket Park. Um, you'll see housing. Middle high school is right here and the elementary school is right there. So they're right next to each other. My kids could just walk to school because I live on Cotterbach. Um, I'm actually right across the street so it's like you walk like 10 feet out your door and they're at school. So I like that my kids can walk to school. Here is where you go to recycle your trash. And so there's different bins for different things. You have your trash, you have plastic, uh, aluminum and metal, paper and cardboard. So you have to separate your trash when you bring it down. If you need to put your kids into daycare, there's CYS right here. Um, and then right across the street, this is the teen center. So I have like four teenagers. They love going to the teen center and there's like games they can play in there and there's like a cool setup for them. So after school, they can go there and hang out and play with other
other teams. There's also a basketball court over there. Uh, there's a volleyball court over here. Um, if you have glass, these are some cl glass uh, recycle bins. Here is the thrift shop. And this is open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays. If you have things to donate, you'll bring it here or you can go shopping there. And this is another angle. So CYS is right over there. Teen Center is right there. This is Cotterbach Stairwell Housing. And we don't have backyards, but we do have balconies. So that's super helpful. And just so you know, there's like a farm right here. And whenever they fertilize or whatever, it just smells horrible outside. Not all the time, but when it does, you'll know. So when you walk in the building, stairs and down below, um, if you go through that door, there's different doors for everyone. So this is the basement where you store any of your extra crap. Everyone has their own storage locker unit and it's really disgusting down here. I also want to mention that sometimes it floods, so I highly suggest you elevate your stuff in case that happens. So I just came through the gate right across the way there is Cotterbach. So it's literally right across the street. You come here, there's the movie theater right there. Um, Nando's is over there somewhere. It's um, some food you could eat, breakfast food, super cheap. Um, and it tastes really good. I think um, police office building somewhere over there. Um, housing office is right over there, but you kind of have to like, you have to go up there and around to get to it. Um, and then over here, you have the Von Steuben Center. So if we have mini bazaars, or if you have like a holiday party, it might be over there. And then this is the auto shop right here. So, so the lights are right in front of your car. They're not across the street, as you could see. Um, and then if you see like the 10, for example, when you're doing speed limit, you take the first number and times it by six. Definitely lower your expectation when you come to the apartments. Um, they're not that great and there's lots of things that'll make you think. All hope is not lost though. You can make the best out of your situation. Um, I do have a blog called modmud.net and I teach tips and tricks on there on how to make your military house look like a home. So as you could see, I turn this into a home um, that is nice and comfortable for our family. If you look in the album section, I do have pictures of my house on there in the albums so you could see what it looks like on the inside. I even have measurements because I measured out all the rooms so you know what furniture uh, will fit at least in a four bedroom. I've also done this for Blydorn five bedroom. You can see the video tour of Blydorn I did as well. Like I mentioned earlier on my blog, I have different ways to make your military house a home. I have tips and tricks, uh, paint colors I used, where I went to go shopping, um, different things you could do to make it feel more homey. I am very much a planner, and so I have listed all the different countries and cities that I have been to since I've been here. I included uh, takeaways, uh, pictures, fun things to do there, um, my itinerary. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested in traveling. Uh, it has lots of good info, and of course, because I have five children, um, and I only visit you know one city once with you know all my kids because I want to see so many um, I definitely plan everything out in advance and where we're gonna go and so a lot of work and effort went into you know making the trips the best that they could be at the bottom you'll see pictures and stuff from each of the places that I've been to as well so you could see what it looks like there.